Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to another episode here on the Life Signatures Radio. We are in the middle of a series where we are talking about mental health issues that come in from the competitions in life that we engage ourselves in. At some point in time, you are competing for a place in school. You're competing for a girl or a boy. Ha! <laughs> You're competing for whatever it is in, po- in politics or probably you are supporting a political bandwagon or you're supporting a sports team. Some of those things, when they happen to us, either we win or we lose. And there's stress in between there, especially when it comes to losing. So the topic of this series is four ways to handle Competition stress. Four ways we can be able to handle competition stress. And I want us to start today looking at the first. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. I want to draw attention to these stiff competitions where we are involved. In the previous episodes, I say that one of the reasons, in fact, could be the main reasons why we get stressed from competitions is because we put our heart into it. And I'm not saying we shouldn't. There will be no need for us to engage in something where our hearts are not there. The content of our hearts speak to the values, the things that we cherish the most. Words, I mean, values have enabled us to create stuff, create wars, make wars to cease because of the values that we cherish. And when we engage in a competition or another, these values are always on the threshold. Our values are the ones that lose or win when we are engaging in a competition, at least at some point in time. So how do we manage this stress of losing a competition? I want to just proffer some kind of guidance here, which is not necessarily foolproof. But from my experience, there's something that I have learned as far as this is concerned. I've told you in the previous episodes that I'm an Arsenal fan. And when someone introduces themselves as an Arsenal fan, people laugh because you know what we've gone through. Or you know what we are going through. And the point that I am sharing here is that when we are engaged in any kind of situation which is a stiff competition and there is a possibility of losing, the first thing that we need to understand, in fact, the first thing that we need to accept is the possibility of losing. In fact, number one, accept that there is a binary of outcomes. It's either a win or a loss. There is no draw. Ultimately, there is a winner or there is a loser. Now, Simon Sinek has written a very powerful book on matters regarding the race in life. I think it's called that book, The Infinite Game. It's one of the most powerful books I've ever read. And it's talking about life and the kind of game that we're playing in life. He says it's not a game of winning and losing. 
I think you need to go and get a copy and just, you know, embrace it. In reality, though, when you look at the things that we go through, they are winners and they are losers. Maybe as far as the portions or the seasons of life are concerned, but probably ultimately it's not a game of winning or, or losing. Let me not confuse myself and let me not confuse you here. So I'm saying, for example, if you're going into an election, before I can even talk about the election, let me tell you this. I read somewhere that uh, a boy had girls come to his home for a visit. You know, not just girls, but his friends and girls were there and so on. And uh, at the end of the day, when the guys had gone away and so on, the mother turned to the boy and told him about his girlfriend. Now, this boy had not introduced the girlfriend to the mom. So the dad later on asked, how did you know? How did he know that was his girlfriend? The mom said, because I hate her. <laughs> so the point there is that... Anyway, I'm not going to say the point. What we're discussing here is that there will be a possibility for you to lose when you're engaging in a competition. So let's say there is Trump on one end and there is Biden on another. You are supporting one of them. If you want to handle your stress, your election stress, there is Arsenal on one end, there is Manchester United on the other. Okay, Manchester United is not even there. There is Manchester City on the other. Okay? There is Real Madrid on one end, there is Barcelona on the other. There is a space to go to university and then there is no space to go to university. If you're going to handle the competitions of life, there's this serious intricate balance that you need to play. You need to go, number one, all in, as in give your absolute best. Don't settle for second best. But at the end of the day, you need to be aware that there is a possibility that you could lose. There is a possibility that Arsenal will not make it. It's a possibility. There's a possibility that your candidate, Trump, will not win. There's a possibility that Biden will not win. There's a possibility that you will not get that particular chance, that particular opportunity. There's a possibility that that contract that you've applied for, you've bidded and you've sent your pre-qualification, there's a possibility that that will not materialize. It is a possibility. It's a reality. Listen, how many people are being recruited for that pre-qualification? Two. How many have applied? Sixty. It's not rocket science to have these 60 people know that there is a possibility that one of them is going to lose. The problem we have in life is that we are so you know, motivational speaking, spiritually positive, that we don't want to face reality. I don't want to confess negativity. I don't, I'm a winner in Christ Jesus. Listen, there is a possibility for ups and downs. Let me just offer you a scripture if you're going to say you're the righteousness of God and, and you're a winner and so on, and yet there's some losses in life. God says he works all things together for good. All things, including the losses, including the failure. He works all things together for good. They are part of the package. It is part of the package. No failure is a waste. No season of hardship is a waste. God works all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So the first thing that we need to do to handle, to handle our mental stress Mental health issues, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to competition, they are serious. And I haven't seen a concerted effort to address this issue. They are serious issues of mental stress. How many times have you have you heard people hanging themselves because their team has lost? How many times have you heard people killing themselves because the, uh, the, the political party they were supporting lost? How many times have you seen a girl killing herself? We've seen this. We've seen this a girl going hanging herself because the parents were expecting her to 
perform in a particular manner and she did not perform and she's not going to a high school or she's not going to university we have failed to accept that there is a possibility for failure there is a possibility for us to flunk our classes this we can i mean we can give our very best but still fail it's a binary of options if we can accept this if we cannot accept this we are setting ourselves up for mental stress it could be that you will lose that's just a possibility it's a reality binary not everyone is going to win when you enter in these competitions not everyone is going to win there are going to be people who will fail there are going to be people who will lose and we all must accept that fact but even as we accept that fact we are not resigning to it we are mentally accepting that this could be a possibility but we are giving it our best there's something i call detachment some if you can search this episode this podcast i talked about detachment a series about detachment in other words you do what is in your hands to do and then the outcome is not in your hands you leave it but you pat yourself on the back and say i gave it my best shot and i'm going to be, i'm not going to be frustrated but the problem is you come to the place where you have failed it is shown to you you have failed and number one you never accepted that you could fail you never came to terms with the reality that it's a possibility you you going you might fail you just confessing positivity 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 i'm the righteousness of god i'm the first i'm, I'm not the last but then you are the last the results have come the reality has hit home you're the last what happened to that scripture in fact if you're not careful by the way you find yourself starting to question god and starting to question scriptures these scriptures are not tr- true they are not i mean they are not right because you didn't acknowledge the fact that god works all things all things involve failure it involves losing it involves coming short god works all things together for good so accept that possibility your political leader will lose it's a possibility i know when you talk about the worst case scenario wcs sit back and point even before you can cast your vote even before the election results can be announced sit down and consider the worst case scenario in fact meditate on the worst case scenario i know this is a very bad teaching to you but i'm teaching about mental health here the worst case scenario is what you do not want like that mother who who who, who pointed out the the girlfriend because i hated her i mean because i hate her i don't like her but she is going to be my daughter in law that is the worst case scenario come to terms with the worst case scenario prepare yourself mentally for it don't go for it but prepare yourself for that possibility i hope i'm communicating the worst case scenario can happen consider some mental health issues normally take us down because we don't put ourselves in the place where we can talk about what could be the worst that can happen what is the possibility of the worst that can happen we make a conversation with this and we acknowledge in our mental faculties that this is a possibility this can be the worst case scenario in fact if this worst case scenario might happen this is how i am going to respond okay so tomorrow we're going to look at another but today accept there is a binary of outcomes in fact accept the possibility of you failing in fact ruminate and meditate on how the worst case scenario can look like and if it ever happens you will not be in shock you will have accepted you will be hurt yes but you'll find it easier to move on well i sound like dr lawrence tomorrow we will do another one until then bye bye thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring